on the Weekly Wire. Find out about changes to the Cottage Grove City Council. Look back at the last eight years as mayor of Woodbury with Mayor Giuliani Stevens. Plus learn where you can enjoy cookies and crafts with Santa. Hello, I'm Ann Schweisky. And I'm Justin Atkinson. Well, after last week's general election, Cottage Grove Council member Wayne Johnson was voted in as the new Washington County Commissioner for District 4. That means that he must vacate his seat on the city council. During the last council meeting, Mayor Bailey indicated one course of action that could be taken was to appoint someone to fill the open seat and then hold a special election in November 2019. Park High School staff and students, along with community members, honored local veterans on November 9th at their annual Veterans Day ceremony. During the ceremony, the high school band, wind ensemble, choir, and American Sign Language students performed the national anthem and stories of veterans' bravery were shared. Woodbury's annual Veterans Day ceremony was held on November 11th. This year's ceremony celebrated the 100-year anniversary of the armistice that ended the fighting in World War I at 11 a.m. on November 11, 1918. Woodbury joined in remembrance of this moment by participating in a national tolling of the bells to honor those who served. Since 2017, Quinn Paylor has been the forester for the city of Cottage Grove. Here's a look at just some of his responsibilities in the community. This will be my fifth year with a bow. It's always a good stress relief and just really a peaceful activity. So these days I really enjoy practicing at our Cottage Grove archery facility. There's some nice kind of wooded lanes to shoot down and just a nice natural area. I would describe myself as someone that is passionate about the environment, trying to make a difference in the world in the work that I do and I just enjoy being outdoors. I've been the city's forester for just about a year and a half. I started in May of 2017. As a forester, I am responsible for the maintenance uh, and upkeep of all the city's boulevard trees, whether that's keeping an updated inventory or doing maintenance, coordinating contractors and uh, the streets crew for doing removals and trimming in the winter. I also deal with a lot of resident requests and really do appreciate people calling in and letting us know when there are issues, and I also do enjoy educating people about the different things that might be affecting their boulevard trees as well as private trees. I think my passion for the outdoors and the environment gives me the drive to do the work that I'm doing. I can see the difference that I am able to make, you know, along with all the resources of the city. It also gives me the opportunity to educate people that wouldn't otherwise know about those things and get more people on the side of conservation and protection of our natural resources. In addition to tree trimming, Quinn also works with the Streets Department to remove diseased trees. Cottage Grove residents can always report issues regarding the city's boulevard trees to Quinn. Well, Santa is taking a break from making toys and wants you to join him and some of his helpers in decorating cookies, making fun holiday crafts, and taking pictures. The Woodbury Recreation Team has organized the event taking place at the Eagle Valley Golf Course on December 1st. Registration will fill up fast, so sign up at the Recreation Department for the 9, 10, 11, or noon events. North Star Sheets in Cottage Grove held a ribbon cutting and tour of their new facility on November 6th. North Star Sheets produces corrugated paper products and is located in the Southeast Industrial Park. Over the past eight years, Mary Giuliani Stevens has been a fixture in local government, serving as mayor of Woodbury. After serving two terms, she chose not to run for re-election. We recently sat down with the mayor for a talk. So I've served as mayor for eight years. It's been a wonderful experience. Three, two, one. I have lots of memories of being mayor, so I think of the relationships that I've built over the years with uh, residents, with businesses, with city staff. I work with a, an amazing city staff. Organizations that I work with throughout the community have just led to an, an amazing experience for me. Just the opportunity to participate in ribbon cuttings um, and unique celebrations, the opportunity to get out with the whole community and do something like the Feed My Starving Children where we're packing meals, the opportunity to get together with other community members and build something like a Madison's Playground, the Universal Playground. And really, I could sit here today and probably think of hundreds 
of memories that I've been able to um, experience over my years as mayor. You know, when I'm asked the question, what's your biggest accomplishment, or what if you drive by, would you say, I did that? For me, it's always remembering the vision of the community that we're gonna continue to be that leading community where everyone has an opportunity to thrive. My boss are the taxpayers of Woodbury, and I've always been told by my father that when you're entrusted with something that was somebody else's, make sure you treat it as if it's your own. And so overriding my leadership, I've often thought of, I have to remember that people have entrusted me with their hard-earned money, and that when we're providing services back to the community members, we wanna make sure that we're giving them value. And to do that, you have to, you have to be willing to communicate and listen to what your residents and businesses want. So given that context, and that's the bigger picture that I look at things, there are some things that have happened in the community that I am proud of. The State Farm Building sat empty for many years, so it was a big challenge for us. And I look now at what is now called City Place. We had the right developer come in at the right time. We worked together to provide what I think is one of the finest horizontal redevelopments in the country. So we've accomplished a lot in the community. My advice to new mayor and new council, we have uh, people with a, a variety of different experiences coming in, so really telling them to take the time to listen and learn um, in their new role, not to get too excited to do too much too soon, to understand their role as policymakers, and the city staff has the role to do the day-to-day -day detailed operations and implementations of those policies, and I wish them the best of luck and I know they'll do a great job. Well, Mary certainly has been a great leader for Woodbury and really, you know, great to work with and just, you know, a, a really wonderful person. She really has. We want to wish her the best of luck in this new chapter. Absolutely. Well, the Cottage Grove Arts Commission has organized a festival of wreaths for the holiday train. Groups, families, and local businesses can sponsor a wreath now through November 30th for $125. Wreaths can be picked up to decorate on December 7th at the Cottage Grove Ice Arena from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. All proceeds will benefit the Friends in Need food shelf. You can join in the spirit of giving at the Cub Foods Holiday Train Grocery Bagging Event in Cottage Grove on November 18th. Volunteers will be bagging groceries from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. in an effort to raise $90,000 for the Friends in Need food shelf. Now here's a look at some upcoming events happening around South Washington County you might want to check out. Well, Justin, another event coming up, Thanksgiving next week. Oh, one of my favorite times of the year. Mm. This year, Meg and I are going to be getting together with our families, eating lots of turkey, lots of potatoes. It's going to be great. Nice. How about you? What's your plan? We're actually going to go to a restaurant for the first time. Normally, we do the in-home thing, and this year, we're going to try a restaurant. That's great, because you don't have to worry about any of the cleanup. That's right. right. You don't get the leftovers, but, you know, we could still cook a turkey on the side. That's true. Yeah. Nice little, that, that nice little uh, dessert turkey. Exactly. <laughs> well, however you guys celebrate, enjoy your Thanksgiving. We'll see you next week.